on the last video, we learned how to connect with our character controller in our system. With this, we could move the character controller around the floor. On this video, what we're going to learn is how to create a first person character controller. With this, we can control with the mouse our character controller and move around. So let's get started. First of all, let's start by parenting our main camera with our character controller. So we're going to make the main camera child of our capsule. Now let's reset the position of our main camera and let's move it a little bit up. After we have finished setting the camera, we go to our input manager by clicking on edit, project settings, input. And we are going to add two more axes. And we are going to name them one for mouse X and remember to set the type to mouse movement. And the other one is going to be named mouse Y. Also, we set the type to mouse movement and change the axis to the Y axis. Finally, let's create a C-sharp script and let's name it camera look. Now, let's open our camera look script. Let's delete the code that it comes and let's paste our code. Now in the code, we're going to have a sensitivity bar to tweak how fast the camera moves when our mouse moves. We're going to restrict the white movement to a minimum and a maximum, which we can tweak later from the inspector. And we're going to have two private bars named rotation Y and rotation X, which we're going to use on the update loop. Now on this render loop, we're going to use rotation X to store the degrees we want to move horizontally. So we're going to add our current rotation on our Y axis to the input we get with our mouse delta on the horizontal movement times the sensitivity. Now regarding the rotation Y, what we're going to do is to add the current value of this bar to the delta of the vertical movement of our mouse times the sensitivity. And afterwards, what we're going to do is to clamp the value that we got here with the minimum and the maximum parameters that we set on the inspector. Finally, with the rotation X and the rotation Y calculated, we build up a vector tree with the new coordinates and set them to our rotation of our current transform. Notice that the minus sign is here in order to set up correctly the horizontal movement of our mouse. So let's see how it works. Let's save here. Let's go back to Unity. Let's locate our main camera game object and let's drag and drop our camera look script. Now let's hit play mode and if we move our mouse, we're going to rotate the camera where our mouse moves. We can also move our player with the input system. So that's pretty much. See you in the next video.